Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. How's the, how's the throat goat? Just real quick. Just real quick. Quick throat gate throat, update. Throat goat? Throat gate. Throat gate update from the throat goat himself. <laughs> Throat week is throat week's wrapping up. All right, good. I'm glad to hear you're back in the game. I'm back. Shape. I'm back in the game. I uh, I wanted. I, I brought up neighbors in the last episode because we I did. had a story, um, and I feel like I've deleted it now and I can't find it. <laughs> You know, it was funny. I was thinking like you were having throat week and I've been having like corn week, you know? Corn? Yeah, like I've been eating a lot of corn lately. Have you? And, Why? It's and, not good for you. No. What? <laughs> I was eating corn not good for you. It's There's just... no nutritional value to corn. I Yeah, well, I mean, I know that, but, it, you know, it's satiating, I guess. Um, I and like when I poop, it feels like I'm, I'm like oh, wow. pooping out a, a, a tube sock full of Skittles. Kind of. Oh, or like that, a condom for the Skittles. Yeah, I guess. Is that what's up? It's kind of what it feels like. It's weird. I don't know. Okay. It's like, I, I don't know. I feel like my manhood is in question sometimes, but I'm just relieving myself. Um, I figured I'd share that with you. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't for you. That was for somebody at home. Somebody at home is like, I know what he's talking about. Do they're, you? they're doing the, the uh, pointing at the screen that, uh, what's his name from the uh, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Brad Pitt? The other guy. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, yes. They're doing the point at the screen that Leo did. And I don't know how to use my phone to get into the thing that I'm trying to find for, for us. <laughs> I, like, I, if it's not here, why is it not here? Oh my lord, what is happening? Why is the phone so hard to use when I'm trying to just find something for us to talk about? So, anyways, there was Neighbors... And the problem was, uh, yeah, yeah. Th- what happened was a guy was using his leaf blower. Yeah. And his other neighbor went up to confront him. And when they got into an argument, he shot him in the street. <laughs> that, <What> the <laughs> that, that was what I, the whole reason I brought up neighbors. I don't remember much else. And I don't know where the hell the screenshot went for me to talk about, but it was there. This is, this is interesting. Um, there seems to be like a, a hyper focus in the media on the, the gun violence that's happening. Are we we are experiencing more now than we have in like the past couple of years though, right? Is that definitive? I would say oh about like in just in, in uh like in the country, but yeah, 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 we've never had more mass shootings than days. Where so was. there is there definitely is a correlation with the amount of gun violence that happened and whatever has has triggered that. Where it's like I you I've been hearing a bunch of these stories. A, a, a neighbor borrows a lawnmower, gets shot. Uh some dude just goes and kills an entire uh family and, and like and kids and then there's and then the school shootings are they had a school where where they just have one. They just had one in another this, country. The, the sad part is that, like, there's so many, you can't keep them all straight. No. Like, I have no... This one happened in another country. Oh. This one happened in another country. I don't know. I just read about it this morning, as a matter of fact. There was a school shooting that happened in another country, and the government has already gone into the acts of uh, passing new legislation. Now... You have to keep your your firearm in a, in, in a safe area, I guess, in, in their country. You have to keep your firearm in a safe area. Okay. And they will send uh, police officers or officials to come and check to make sure that your firearm is being uh, properly maintained and, uh, and stored. And you could be... Uh, find um, there may be some other some other things that may happen as well. Oh, but. Well, I guess. Well, yeah. There's way less people that own guns in those countries, so it's easy. Yeah. Like if America only had like Dang. seven gun owners. Yeah, I can't remember what country it was in, but I know this is. I know that it is, it is a thing, and uh, it's just it's just weird that they had it happen one time, and they were like, nope. <laughs> nope, we're doing something immediately. Oh, immediately. yeah, I think it was. Uh, I think it was Canada banned assault rifle. I don't know if that was. It was because I think Canada banned. Like automatic weapons or something. Something that they've been talking about doing here is the whole point of contention with everything. Oh, yeah. like, but you, not every, everybody can get a, a handgun in Canada, right? You can't get a gun in Canada, right? I don't, uh, think so. I don't think so, no. I don't. I mean, I think most countries you can't. That's why everyone thinks everyone in America has a gun. Hey, look, I'm going to look. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, Jonas. I'd rather live in a country where the people are like, anybody could have a gun than live in a country where I know nobody has a gun. 
Yeah, and because even if quote unquote nobody has a gun, somebody's got a gun. That part. Yeah, I mean that part. And then then you feel extra powerful if you're like the one man in the whole country that has the gun. Like you know that like you're somebody's gonna, got the gun. So some there's somebody out here with a. Yeah, G-U-N. you think you're just the one man with the gun. Really, you're just the one man you know that has the gun. And then there's the other guy who's the only guy that he knows that has the gun. Yeah. Was G-Unit called G-Unit because it's G-U-N, G- gun? Gun it? Yeah. Either, is that what you, is that <laughs> why you think? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just happened to say G-U-N, and I was like, oh, G-Unit. Yeah, like it's like they're talking, it's a gun reference. Who's your favorite member of G-Unit? I, don't I, think don't, that's I couldn't even tell you who's in it. You know one guy. I know Fifty it. Cent was okay. In it. There you go. I mean, I, but I can't pick. He's not my favorite. You know who the other? You know at least one more too. I I probably don't know the originator of the John Cena. Uh, Silk the Shocker. No, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm That's joking. a totally different label. No, that was Tony Yayo with that. I don't know who that is. And then you have Lloyd Banks. Oh, I have heard of Lloyd Banks. Young Buck. Yeah, young Buck is that yeah. Young Thug? No, <laughs> this is before Young Thug. Way before Young Thug. No, I never was a G Unit fan. No, me either. Really, I was a yeah, really 50 like cent I was guy. Uh, hanging out with Couchman Pete last night, and he was talking about how good Fifty Cent's "Get Richer or Die Trying" album was, and I was like, I've never, never heard that before ever. It's a, in, in the mixtape massacre. That's the one that has "Up in the Club" in it. Uh, oh, is it? Hmm? Get rich or die trying. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wasn't really a big Fifty. Me fan. either, man. I was, I was a Ja Rule guy, and then Ja Rule kind of like fell off, and and, and I played then you did Fire Fest. <sighs> but Ja Rule had some albums. I don't care. He had some songs. Ja Rule had some songs. I've, he might have did. I mean, Fire he put Fest. out a whole whole album full a couple times. Yeah, exact a couple times, like seven of them. How many albums all. does Ja Rule have? I don't know. I have most of them. What's your favorite Ja Rule album? Uh, Vinny Vetti Vici is really good. Pain is Love is good as well. I also like the Murderers. Jonas, if you started getting into the Murderers, Vita and Black Child, are you kidding me? Is that what I should do? <laughs> no, no, don't do it. Why not? You said if I, I, sh- I said if I did, I should. I was such a, I had, look, okay, 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 listen. I'm here. listening. This is the truth. I have bad taste in everything, okay? I don't know if that's I, no, completely that, true. Look, I've come to terms with it, all right? Okay, I've come all to right. Third. I don't like, I don't like attractive women. I don't, <laughs> I don't like good tasting food. I, uh, I don't like, my musical choices are ass. I'm, I'm fine with that. That's not where I excel in life, all right? And it's Okay. Bad choices. This is why I generally just leave the choices up to other people because I make bad choices when it comes to preferences. So I'd rather everybody be happy because I'll be happy either way. Okay. So I make, I I have bad taste. So when it comes to music, I chose the wrong side. I should have stayed with 50 Cent. I went with Ja Rule. Oh, if you were talking about which path you took, you, you walked the lonely road. I walked the lonely road. And when I was in when I was in uh, middle school, I read Lord of, Lord of the Rings instead of the Time Machine, which was like half the pages. I was the only person in class to do it. Bad choice. Why? Because now, then after that, I started playing Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons and and Warhammer. Now I'm a nerd. And then uh, yeah, you, you turned into a Wicca. And my and my penis stayed dry the entirety of high school. <laughs> The only time my dick got wet is when I jumped in the pool, Jonas. Wow. I'm just, what, what do you want, dude? Just, I mean, I guess that's one way to put it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. I made a bad I made some, you know, I made some bad, I made good choices too, you know. You know, I mean, you never killed shoot. anybody. What's that? You never killed anybody, so that's a good choice. I mean, Jesus. I don't want to get credit for the things I don't do. Like, you know, <laughs> like I didn't, I didn't like create the nuclear bomb. So at least you didn't do that. Exactly, yeah. bro. Oh, like, you know what you never did? You never like shot a public official. So good yeah, job, you know. Exactly, exactly. You've made a lot of good choices, TNT. I'm not going to let you sit here and talk about all the bad choices that you've made. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. all time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. Yep.